the major markets experienced a pullback after reaching new all-time highs in a number of the indices early in the week. Earnings began to become the dominant factor last week as earnings season ramps up. Only consumer staples and materials managed to close in the green, while real estate, energy, and communication services led the pack down. The communication services sector was pulled down significantly due to disappointment in the earnings report for Netflix, which fell over 10% in one day and experienced a loss every day last week. Meanwhile, the losses in energy were in large part due to the pullback in both crude oil and natural gas prices. Oil prices have been somewhat volatile lately as there have been several events involving Iran and Western countries' tankers. Over the weekend, a second British oil tanker was seized in the Strait of Hormuz as tensions with Iran continues to escalate. In interest rate news, two Federal Reserve officials made a strong case to make significant cuts to the Fed funds rate in their public speeches last week. John C. Williams, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, indicated that he was open to reducing rates by saying that it's better to take preventative measures than to wait for disaster to unfold. Later, in an email to the Washington Post, Judy Shelton, the presumptive Trump nominee to the Federal Reserve Board, stated that she would have voted for a 50 basis point cut at the June meeting. By Friday's close, U.S. Treasury yields fell again, with the three-month yield at 2.06%, while the 10-year closed at 2.05%. This weekend marked the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. An estimated 600 million people watched man set foot on the moon for the first time. During the landing, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin realized that they had overshot the original landing site. As they maneuvered the landing capsule around the boulder-covered land, they nearly ran out of fuel. This served as a somewhat fittingly tense climax to the journey that began years earlier on May 25, 1961, when President John F. Kennedy spoke before Congress and announced the goal of putting a man on the moon. The last moon mission was on December 1972. It's amazing to think how much the world and technology has changed in the last 50 years, as the stars have become seemingly closer, and yet the moon has remained once again out of reach.